Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. Hey, thank you, John, and thanks, everyone. This is Happy English Podcast, episode 476, Eight Phrasal Verbs with Off. Phrasal verbs are an important part of English. As I've mentioned before, native English speakers prefer using phrasal verbs, and learning these will always help to make your English sound more natural. For today's English lesson, we're going to look at eight phrasal verbs that use the preposition off. Let's check them out. Block off means to obstruct. Something can block off the entrance to a building, block off a street, or block off the view of something. Here are some examples. After the storm, a tree blocked off the road near my house. Because of the bank robbery, the police blocked off the entrance to the bank. A guy wearing a big hat sat in front of me at the baseball game and blocked off my view. Call off means to cancel. When you call off an event, that event is canceled. For example, we called off the golf game because of rain. The boss had to fly to Texas, so we called off the meeting. Jenny called off her birthday party because she caught a cold. Doze off means to unexpectedly fall asleep. You weren't planning to fall asleep, but you dozed off. We also use nod off with the same meaning. For example, I dozed off on the train last night and missed my station. I nodded off during the CEO's speech. It was too long. I dozed off in the middle of the movie because it was boring. Next, give off means to emit. Something can give off an odor, a light, or even an emotion. Here are some examples. This coffee gives off a very nice aroma. These new light bulbs give off a very soft light. They are perfect for the bedroom. Jack was giving off a very strange vibe at the meeting today. He doesn't seem to be himself. Go off means to begin making sound or light as a warning. Now I realize when you think about the word off, and electronics, the usual idea is that off means the opposite of on. Well, the phrasal verb go off has kind of the opposite meaning. When an alarm goes off, it begins to ring. Here are some examples. Every time I cook fish, the smoke alarm goes off. The check engine light in my car went off this morning. I need to have the car serviced. My alarm clock goes off at 6 a.m. every morning. The phrasal verb kickoff comes from football. The kickoff is the start of play. So, the phrasal verb kickoff means to begin an event. Here are some examples. We are going to kick off the meeting at 9 o'clock sharp, so don't be late. The party kicked off around 8 p.m. last night and continued way past midnight. Hey, what time does the race kick off tomorrow? Next is mouth off. Mouth off. Mouth off means to talk loudly, rudely, or in a complaining way. So it has a negative nuance. For example, the boy was sent to his room because he was mouthing off to his parents. Joe got arrested because he was mouthing off to a police officer when he was drunk. If you mouth off to the boss, you're going to get fired. And finally, we have rip off. Rip off means to overcharge. We also use rip off as a noun 
So you can say that someone ripped you off or that something is a ripoff. Here are some examples. I paid $6 for a bottle of water at the baseball stadium. They ripped me off. That restaurant is a ripoff. They charge $40 just for pasta. The street vendor tried to rip me off so I didn't buy anything. Well, that's our English lesson for today. If you want to read the examples in this lesson or get word-for-word -word transcripts of the Happy English Podcast, just visit MyHappyEnglish.com and check Lesson 476. By the way, the complete transcripts for Podcasts 1 through 475 are now available. Hey, thanks for studying, and I'll see you next time at Happy English. This podcast is brought to you by Happy English. Please visit myhappyenglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English.